So, will this be the first time the unit's been together since the war? Oh, no. No, no. Please remember that Vietnam was not a war. It was an armed conflict, and we were just there to keep the peace. Right. Now I remember. I don't know if they've ever gotten together. Uh, I certainly haven't been to any reunions. Listen, you don't think that, uh, well, I mean, do you think the men will bring their girlfriends and, and wives? And... <laughs> Why? Are you a little worried about being well, the only one there? Sure, maybe. Still Look, I wouldn't go to this without you. I just hope you're ready to be stared at, because these guys are going to be jealous. Well, I don't mind if you don't. It'll be nice to meet your friends. They really aren't friends, okay? They, they just, I don't know them that well. I'm sure they wouldn't want me in their lives all the time, just like um, I wouldn't want them in mine all the time. It's just the way it is after a while. Hey, can you grab that bag back there? I think there's a map in there. Yeah. I need to figure out where this hotel is. I think we're supposed to be taking the San Diego freeway. I don't know. I think so. Hey, this is... That's a hat. Your grave or mine? Yeah, that was the motto of my platoon. Today, the Keith. role of Keith Timmons is being played on, by baby. Robin Strand. Keith, don't, don't, don't. Come on, if the passageway is blocked, it's not going to air. Come on, don't me. Will you move? Move! <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> God, oh, gee. Are you okay, baby? Yeah. Oh, say something. What's she doing here? Uh, saving your life. Oh, thanks. Actually, I do have a reason uh, for being here. Well, I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. Don't you take another step, or you'll never see me or Chip again. I don't want that, and I don't want that. Then go away! What if I do? The police will find you. Maybe they will, and maybe they won't. This can all turn around. Wilma, I mean it. I can be a friend if you'll let me. Just give me the boy. I don't have any friends. Nobody cares if I'm gonna live or die. Okay, any news about Chip? No, not that we know of. I just thought it made sense that we wait for word here. Of course, Ellie, you know that you're welcome. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Guess we all had the same thought. Have you two had dinner? No, no. Oh, well, then, uh, why don't you ask Rosie to set the table for four? Uh, no, thank you, Pamela. <clears throat> Look, I've got to make some calls in the study and find out a few things. Why don't you come with me? Excuse us. <sighs> I can very proprietary for someone to stop by. Look, I want out of here, okay? I, I, I don't think I can take watching you and my mother circle each other all well, night. Well, I don't like it either, Jeffrey. Just thank God it's a big house. What's going on out there? Did you see anybody? Yeah, two cops who told me to come back inside. It's all their fault. If they weren't here, we would have the baby by now. We don't know that. She said she would give him up over the phone. I still don't think that she'll hurt him. You know, Mason, you really sounded like a father today. Yeah, I haven't acted much like one, have I? That's not true. You said so yourself. Oh, how else could you have acted? You were never sure if I was going to slam the door in your face when you came over to see Chip. And I only acted that way because I was feeling guilty myself. About what? Well, I couldn't exactly be nominated Mother of the Year, now could I? You, you, you can't take anything seriously that that woman says. You felt the same way, didn't you? During the trial, your lawyer kept on hinting that I was unfit, that I should have the custody taken away from Those me. were his tactics, not mine. There's never any doubt in my mind where the boy belonged or who was best for him. Well, Wilma didn't feel the same way. You can't listen to her. She's with the kid a couple of days and decides that you're guilty of child neglect. I should never have done any volunteer work in this. Why not? Does being a single mother mean you're sentenced to 18 years in the living room? You have nothing to apologize for, Victoria. Certainly not to that lunatic. She's just trying to justify her own actions. That's not possible. Thank you. For what? 
for not letting me go through this by myself. Yeah. She is. Where? Right. What? 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 They found her. Let's see. You go off that edge, there's nothing I can do for you anymore. That's the idea. Why? You're giving yourself a sentence no judge would ever pass. I'm thinking of him. It's better than giving him back to her. Dying is not better than anything. I don't want to. You're making me. Nobody's making you do this. Well, you've got to... Who's that? Don't come any closer! Oh, hold on, man. Stay back. We've got a delicate situation here. I don't want you blowing it. All right. I'm going. Go. See? You can't promise me anything. They're going to do what they're going to do. And so am I. Don't you want to go on from here and have children of your own? Hi. Whatever for? There's so many now that nobody cares about. There's just no room. Wilma, you're very wrong if you think that boy is unwanted. I have known his mother for years, and she's a good woman. Why? Because she's famous? Because she just happens to be beautiful? Because you see her on TV? No, I'll tell you what a good woman does. A good woman don't leave her baby lying around all day. She doesn't leave her to cry and to, 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 to hit him, to, to pick him up and hit him when, when they're doing something they don't even know what they're doing and to poke at him and to, and to like, hurt them inside where they shouldn't never have been. And a good woman doesn't kill her baby either. It's not Tori you're thinking of now, is it? You're getting me mixed up. Take a look at that baby. Take a look at him and think of what you're planning to do. Is he any better off now with you than you were as a child? It's not his mother that's mistreating him like your mother did. <laughs> Wilma, it's you. Look, reunions are always nerve-wracking, but once you get there, you lighten up and it'll be fine. No, this is just a weird idea. I mean, it's not like we went to school together. There were no good old days. I know, but it, surely you must have some good memories. Yeah. Well, even those are hard to admit to. Why? Because I don't think we really deserve to have them. People are people, you know, no matter what the circumstances can. I never thought we'd get to be old and fat. You're not fat, and you're certainly not old. No, but I mean, we didn't even think we'd live to be 25. You know, when you start thinking like that, you can do strange things. You do things and you say things. I don't think we even looked in the mirror too much back then. Why? I don't know, we just didn't, maybe. We were afraid of what we might see. You know, we didn't think about career or wives or kids or anything like that. We just did what we had to do to get through that day. We gave ourselves little gifts, little things that might make us happy for just an instant. And then the next day would come and we'd start all over again, do whatever we had to do to get through that day. And there was an understanding that everything we did was only there. And it wouldn't be remembered. It wouldn't be held against us. And now we, we've gone through all this. We've lived through all this. And we, we put it behind us. And, and to go back, it's, it's a mistake. It's, it's, it just doesn't fit. Because we've got to remember all these things, which we swore and understood that we wouldn't. And this is cheating somehow. Maybe the other men don't think that. Look at LeVar. He was happy to see you. He was very genuine. Oh, Lamar's special. He's a good man. He was a friend. But even he and I won't mention certain things together. Well, what are, what are some of the other men like? I don't know. I, they could be anything. I just don't know any of them. Yeah, but there must be some type of bond there. I mean, a really strong bond, because why else would they be having this reunion? You guys grew up together, sort of. You, you ate together, you slept together, you, you worked together. I... You had a mascot and a motto for your platoon. If you had to name one thing that, that the men that you knew have in common, what would it be? I guess the main thing would be that most of them are dead.
So, we were taking a little stroll, you know, it was a nice night. We thought, figured we'd just take a little walk around. Or you swim. Know. Well, you know, the equipment was here. I thought I'd show Keith how to dive. Yeah, yeah. I can see. You're a real expert. All right, look, we're suitably grateful, okay? What do you want, a raise, a bonus, what? A bribe? No. Let's not dance around the obvious, okay, guys? I saw the unmarked private file on Hal Clark, and you know it. And I think that you think he's down there gathering salt and barnacles under the boathouse, eh? You, you may have something there. Oh, wait a minute. Who's Hal Clark? Please, please. You two are half-witted enough without having to put on a show of it. I just want to know what you're after, that's all. Hey, look, why should I have to be after anything? It's my job, you know. Because you have never pursued any criminal case with this much gusto, believe me. Do you honestly think you're going to get a case out of this, much less a conviction, 30 years after the fact, with no witnesses, no evidence? Maybe we just haven't found the right evidence yet, that's all. All right, so, so what, what if you find what's left of the guy? What is that going to prove? That he's dead? That's a pretty fair supposition, bones or no bones. Hey, look, there's dead and then there's dead, okay? I mean, being dead here is a whole lot different than being at lost at sea kind of dead. Hey, hey, look, I'm not going to stop you. You want to come out here at night and crawl around with the slugs? That's up to you. But just remember, somebody is watching you. Thanks again. I can't believe I'll let you talk me into this. What are you talking about? You're the one who wanted to go diving. I could feel the gray hair growing in my head right now. It's all your fault. I forgot to check the pressure on the tank. I got out there and I ran out of air. I didn't know what to do. Everything went dark and I couldn't find my way back up to the surface. Anyway, you can't find those bones with this equipment. You need sensors and, and lights. Yeah. I thought my head was going to explode. Really? Are you okay now? So what, what, what's the date today? Oh, no. no come cares? on, hey, come here, look at me. What's, who am I? Who am I? Huh? Who, who's the president of the United States? Do you really think there's slugs in there? Oh, you're okay. Hold it. Don't be dumb. You can't hide all night. Come on, come on, get that one. Get out of here. You don't know me. You don't know the first thing about me. No, I don't know what happened to you, but I do know that this is not going to change it. Hold it! You can't go! Oh, man. Let's go. Let's go. No! Wait a second! Wait a second! Wait a We have this situation under control. Please. Wilma, please. I don't have nothing against you, mister. Maybe I figured you wrong. But you should never have left your son with that woman to raise and do what she wanted to. Don't hurt him. She won't. What, what do you want, Wilma? We'll give you anything that you want. I want you to go away. All of you. I want you to leave me the keys to your car and just disappear. Wilma, what good will it do if you give take her the keys? What? If it's a choice between give her the keys. Oh, no, wait a second. Wait a second, Mason. Ma and you see how far these people are willing to go? Sure, she L wants to get rid of him. Listen to me. Listen to yourself. What could they do or say that would satisfy you? Nothing. Because what you want is to make right something that happened years ago, Wilma, and it can't be done. Now, who is the dangerous one here now? It's not Tori. It doesn't have to be this way. You can give him the chance that you never had. There was nobody there for you, I know. Nobody there to help you. But Chip has you. And me. And two loving parents. How do you know it's not all just an act? And how do you know that it isn't the real thing if you've never seen it? You have to take somebody's word for this, and I can vouch for these people. I was there the day that boy was born. I have known him all his life, and I swear to you, he's happy, he's loved, he's been well cared for. Listen to him. Now, I don't blame you if, if you think you can't believe in the possibility, but it's true, and you can prove it to yourself right now. You can do for him what you wish somebody had done for you. You have the power. 
You can't change the past. But for this precious little boy right now, you can change the future. Will you be watching him? They don't need watching. I swear, but I will be here. I'll be here. anymore. Well, come on, you got to keep your strength up here. I'm fine. Besides, it's the worst soup I ever tasted. What do you mean? This is just the way my mom used to make it. Only she used a can opener and I used a microwave. Fine, then you eat it. While you're out here, you can wear my wig. I hate it. Oh, you're crazy. It's gorgeous. Stop complaining, will no, you? It, it looks like a little charred animal fell on my head <sighs> from a tree that was burning while I was asleep. Now, you have no taste at all. It's very sexy. It is? Si, si, my little chiquita. Huh? Yeah, all I need is a hat with some bananas and a pineapple. Oh, Frank, you are the sourest woman I have ever met. You know that. Here you have been just snatched from a watery grave with untold Please, fortunes oh, within on. your grasp. How do you figure that? Hey, we got the old coyote where we want him now, don't we? Yeah. And we know where the body is. Huh? All we got to do is go back and get it. Yeah, and hire a diver. Hey, 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 hey. Don't worry. Until we walk down that aisle as millionaire man and wife, I'm not going to let anyone or anything touch one acrylic hair on your head. And another thing that's your fault. How could you let those airport panhandlers take a little sheep shears to my hair? Hey, where do you want to go, huh? Uh, where do you want to go first, I should say, on our endless spending honeymoon, huh? Nowhere. How about a hair transplant? <laughs> hey, hey! In the South Pacific. I love you, you and you know it's true you. and if you were love of me There's no reason to be standoffish Not it's their time now and uh, he knows that I'm here Yeah, Mason does keep you guessing, huh? What do you mean? Not that I'm disagreeing, of course There have been times when I wondered if he even remembered he had a son I think after the divorce, he felt estranged from both of them. Before that, too. But what do I know about fatherhood, you know? Complicated crews. He talks more about Chip when Victoria's not there. And when she is there, it, well, he sort of feels as if he doesn't have the right, that he doesn't want to compete. Hmm. It could be a good idea if somebody were to suggest that a doctor look at the boy later. I'm sure Victoria will call uh, okay. Scott. Clark, listen, you're friends with him, aren't you? Well, I know him. I wouldn't say we're friends. Have you ever heard him mention his uncle, Hal? As a matter of fact. <laughs> Why? You know, I think he caught a little cold. Oh! Think he's gonna remember any of this? I don't know, but I certainly will. Came into his clinics, but don't eat that. How far were you willing to go? Would you really have let her have it? Mason, I would have done anything to keep him. You know. I know what I was ready to do. She didn't trust either of us, but she trusted Cruz. Next logical step is to tell her who the baby's father really is. Sometimes I still think that would be best. For whom, Mason? Well, not me. I already feel like he's more yours than mine. Mason, don't be that way. He needs you, and so do I. Don't let that distance be there, because as he grows older, he's not going to understand it. I would at least thank Cruz properly. He's your boss now, remember? You better let me check out the old house. 
CC already knows I'm looking into it. Thanks for coming by and telling me. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, Mr. Captain. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. You take a take a rest for a couple of days. Take care of that bump on the head. Who was that? I was hoping it'd be Mason bringing Chip by. No such luck. Well, what's the matter? Who said they were the baby was uh, fine? They were taking him home. Then they wouldn't bring him here, now would they? We've got a problem. We've got a major stupid problem. The same one. What? The guard found prowlers in the boathouse. Two people with descriptions that sound suspiciously like Gina and Timmins. Oh no, oh no! You don't think they found? They them? didn't find anything. They're empty-handed so far. They're coming awfully close, don't you think? Then we have no choice. We've got to go back out there and, and, and break up the remains. What would there be if there were no boathouse? If I got my construction crew to bulldoze the boathouse right into the ocean? If that's what I have to do to bury what's left of Hal Clark, that's what I'm going to do. Hey, the rest of the grunts are gonna go wild. You should have heard them when I told them you weren't coming. How many are here? Well, you should know better than me. You're the one who used to count heads. Well, I know how many there were when we started. How many made it? Well, <laughs> not so many. No, no. See you later. I get the impression that your unit was especially hard hit. Yeah. Okay, I'll drop it. No, look, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, there's something I gotta, I gotta tell you. It's, it's difficult to describe what it's like to be out there under fire. I mean, there's so much going on. It's easy to get turned around. Your senses are. No, I'm making excuses. Excuses for what? I was out with a small detachment doing some scouting. And we were sweeping down through a tree line towards a village when we got hit real hard. There was gunfire and shelling and, and rockets. I mean, a shell landed right at our feet, wasted two guys right there, and I, I was knocked back. And I, I, I was out, I, I don't know how long. When I came to, my men were scattered all over the place, just barely hanging in there. And I, I knew I needed to pull them together to, to get them out of there, to call in some support. So I started shouting orders, trying to push them forward. But I, w I was still confused, and I, I, I couldn't see well. Anyway, suddenly, the shouting and the gunfire and the shelling and the screaming was behind me. I had sent my men straight into the VC while I staggered and stumbled and crawled the other way. And I was the only one who made it up. I was the only one alive. Kate, I'm sorry. You didn't know. Well, no, I wasn't blamed. Might have been better if I had been blamed. I'm sure they all remember. No wonder it was so hard for you to come. You know, it wasn't. It's not as much seeing the guys that are here as it is not seeing the ones who aren't. I'm gonna get this little guy home. Why don't I come home with you? No, that's okay. You've done enough already. Besides, I think we're both ready to turn in. I'll be over tomorrow, then. Okay. Night-night. Ooh, say goodnight. Say goodnight to Dad. Julia, I, I want to thank you. But what? I didn't do anything. That was probably the most difficult job of all. Thank you.
going to be able to get some sleep tonight? Not right away. I hope that you didn't feel abandoned. Because I really wanted to be with you. I just thought it would be better if you and Victoria handled this yourself. Don't worry. You did the right thing. I can't think of anything more horrifying than having your child taken away like that. I'm all right. I know that you are. And I hope that you know that I would never do anything to stop you or... or care if you spend a lot of time with Chip or as much time as you want. That's good. Because I still think of him as my son, I'm going to do right by him. And it should be. I think that's enough said right now. I'm sorry, thank you. I just would... I just would rather talk about something else. All right. I, uh, I noticed Cruz's lights aren't on. Where do you think he went? I don't know. I overheard, uh, you talking about my father? Yeah, well, maybe we mentioned Cecil's name. Uh-huh. And Keith, too, I believe. Uh, yeah. And the boathouse. Would that be my family's? I'm not sure that it has as much to do with the Capwells as it does with Keith and an ex-Capwell. Gina? They seem to think that your father has a skeleton in the closet. Or in the boathouse, to be exact. You can pick up a few mementos here if you'd like. All I want is for this place to disappear off, off the face of the earth. You will get your wish in about a half an hour, I promise you. What's going on out there? I told them we'll be out in a minute. Hey! Nice to see you. Come on. Hey, Cruz. Cruz, Cruz, how can we ever thank you for what you did for our grandson tonight? Oh, there's no need. Uh, has Victoria safely gotten home with him? Well, they were heading that way when I left them a few minutes ago. Oh, good. Then we won't wake him up when we stop by. I was planning on dropping by after I cleared a few things up right here, and I told the uh, crew to go ahead and uh, do their job. Yeah, I noticed the heavy machinery outside. Seems like an odd time of night for those guys to be working. Not really. I got my crews working around the clock. We had a lot of delays building this country club, you know? This is going to be part of the country club right oh, here? Oh, okay. yes. We're expanding the whole beach way out there. Excuse me, Cece. I really would like to go see Chip. Oh, I'm sure you both would, but uh, I wonder if I might ask a favor before you go. For you? I mean, what? Would you postpone the demolition here a few days? Why? I, I mean, Cece just said there been so many delays. Well, there. I imagine it's a subject you're both tired of, but it has to do with Hal Clark. No, you mean it's got to do with Keith Tim and my charming ex-wife? Oh, uh, them too. Yeah. What kind of story are they peddling these days? Well, apparently there's some reason, probably slim, to think that Mr. Clark was not too far from here the night he disappeared. What reason? Not far from here? Los Angeles is not far from here, is Well, it? I've heard that Mr. Timmons thinks the body may have been buried here or uh, otherwise disposed of. Yes, next to say he's buried in my basement or in my garden or in my bedroom. And you want me to sit idle and let my crew sit idle while Timmons dawdles? Mr. C. I need to ask this as a personal favor because I think it's what's best for you. You tear down this place tonight, it's going to look a bit too coincidental, don't you think? I'm so glad you're my son in law because you're the one person I cannot turn down. <laughs> Thank you. Don't make me regret it. Good to see you. Are you out of your mind? I mean, he's going to come back. Why don't you just point your finger to the bones? You won't find anything. Ha, ha, who's going to stop him? I mean, now he's going to be... I mean, we can't do anything now. See, see, they're going to be looking at this place, and they're going to be looking at us. Let them look at us. The more they look at us, the better it is. Come on. Don't waste any more time. Excuse me. I said, where were you? Well, your father and I w went to see Victoria and Chip. Oh, well, that's odd. Since Victoria just stopped by on her way home to let everyone see for themselves that Chip was all right. <laughs> well, I guess that explains why they weren't there. Oh, and it took you half an hour to figure that out? Uh, Kelly, I really don't appreciate being interrogated like this. Then where were you, Pamela? Were you at home packing your bags? Are, are you moving in with us now? Is that it? 
Really, I'm not going to answer to you for my private life or any of my decisions. But, Kelly, I'm sorry you don't like me, but there's nothing more I can really do about it. Obviously not. <sighs> Besides, it's all so unnecessary. I mean, you and I are family, like it or not. A good heavens, dear, you married to my son, and before long, your father and I are going to share another grandchild. And I really hate the thought of that baby, he or she, growing up in an atmosphere that's poisoned by your bitterness toward me. Now, please, for heaven's sakes, you know, for the, for the, not just for the child's sake, but Jeffrey's as well. Can't we at least try, try to be civil to each other? Pamela, you share what you want with whomever you want. But don't you stake a claim at my child. And that was a nice, neat equation you have for determining how to become a grandparent, but you've managed to leave out my mother completely. Oh, uh, that's not what I meant. Oh, no, I think it is what you mean. You know, you've made her pay for the, for the mess you made of your marriage 30 years ago, and now you think you've succeeded in taking her place. Well, not with me. Never with me, Pamela. <sighs> I'm gonna go. Okay, you stay. Don't ask. And I did. I really tried. Just everything I say just comes out wrong. It's taken wrong. You better go. There's too much chest show in there for a bride, don't you think? You want me to wear something high-necked? Oh, look at this one, then. Oh, this won't do. This just won't do. Maybe you're right. Looks like Virgin night at the sorority house. Do you realize that if we only hit CCF for 10 million, we're gonna need more by the time we're 50? You're not even paying attention. Of course I'm paying attention. Look, I, I just... I just wish I knew where the stock market was going. I mean, 10% interest, that's only a million a year. That's it, Keith. I have had it. I'm through. I quit. Hey, 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 this is our little nest egg there, Pumpkin Face. All you ever think about is money and how to get more of it from Cece and Hal Clark. If you like Hal Clark so much, why don't you marry him? You sure don't care about marrying me. Of course I do. Come on, come on. Don't, don't, don't do with this, okay? My heart can't take this anymore. Little men have little hearts. Oh. Bald-headed women have big mouths sometimes. My little pumpkin head. How dare you? What, you dirty... Oh, 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 oh. You can call me anything you want. Just don't take that wig off underneath the lights and blind me, okay? Where's the calculator? Where is it? Where is it? How about I... How about I shove this right in your throat? Yeah, and I'll tell you something else. You should get yourself a Velcro bathing cap to keep that thing on. Last night I had a dream I was in bed with a volleyball. Maybe you should start sleeping with a volleyball. You might like a volleyball better than me and get a new bed while you're at it. I can tell you, Brandon, half price. I want to tell you something. I love you, okay? Oh, oh, stop, it. Don't stop, stop it! Stop it! Right? Stop it! Stop it! Are we ever going to get married? Of course we're going to get married. Just let me make you rich first, okay? Come on, please. How long is that going to take? Oh, it won't take. It'll take a lot less time than it's going to take for your hair to grow back. Let me get this straight. You're investigating my mother and father, and you're just now getting around to telling me? This is not an investigation. I'm just trying to find out what they're up to. Don't play innocent with me, Julia. You work for Keith Timmons. You're not listening to me. This is not a case. There is nothing official about it. Keith is putting something together, and I'm just trying to find out what that is. What, is he making it up out of whole cloth, or what? I don't know. Not exactly. Then why are you keeping me in the dark about it? I'm not keeping you in the dark, and I am not accusing your parents of anything. You don't understand. Somebody else might. And maybe they'll be right. Don't jump to any conclusions. Who else knows about this? Cruz. Cruz! He's working on it on his own. Where are you going, Mason? Are Mason and Victoria all right? Well, they're a little rattled, but they were a team through the whole thing, and it was nice to see, I'll tell you. I'm glad the baby's safe. 
I was really worried uh, watching the bulletins on TV in my isolation room. Don't you waste any energy worrying. You just concentrate on shrinking those mumps. Actually, I'm not that swollen. And don't go starting with the self-diagnosis, Eden. Do what your doctors tell you. Yes, sir. I miss you. Why couldn't you catch something ordinary so I could keep you home here and mother you or whatever? I promise I'll come home weak. You can make me meals for six months. Would you say hello to everybody for me? Did you see Daddy the night I tried to call home, but he wasn't there. Yeah, I saw him. I, uh, I'll tell him. And Mama, too. Okay. I'll call you in the morning. I love you. I love you, too. You're kidding me. No, no, no. Three of them. My oldest is a senior in high school this oh, year. Oh, don't say things <laughs> like that. Oh, that's great. I told him all about you, Sarge. Hey, how about a picture? No, no. Oh, you don't want a picture. Oh, oh, oh. Say cheese for the man. Say, come on. Cheddar, cheddar or, or Swiss. Swiss. <laughs> What? Well, it, no, it, it, it's an old joke. You, you see, they, they gave us this stuff that they used to call cheese. But one night it would be Swiss, and then the next night they figured it had to be there. Right? That's another thing I don't miss, is the food. Hey. Oh. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I don't. I didn't know he was hurting too fast. You can always tell if they're okay if you look in their eyes. Yeah. That's where the real scars show. Do you want a drink or something? You'll never guess who just drove up. Who? Who? The Major. Didn't realize I left the door open. How you doing? Fine. How's Eden? Fine. What's the matter with you? Did you happen to mention you're trying to pin a murder charge on her father? coming back here. Said to meet somebody, that's all. Who? Never mind who. Where, where'd you park? Back off the road. You sure nobody follows you? I guess. I think so. But why? Why are you being so mysterious? Look, I'm doing what has to be done, and it's better for you that you don't know about it. That's all. You're coming back here when I can see the car. Then. Look, why don't you go get out if I got business to attend to? All right. You know, the truth of it is, I, I, I never really minded meeting here. It seems strange how tore us apart all those years ago, and it was strange way he was pulling us back together, but now I just wonder when this thing is going to end. You don't have to wonder anymore. It'll end tonight. Here he is. <laughs> You're looking fit and trim as ever. Thank you, sir. So are you. Well, thank you very much. Riley. Riley, look at you, man. Yes, now, just, just one minute here, Riley. Is this that wife of yours? That's her. Ma'am, we have been waiting for 20 years to meet you. <laughs> ah, thank you. You are. I haven't had this warm a welcome since we met the VC in Bin Ma. Oh. So what's the matter? Did you think I wouldn't show? Oh. No. No. <laughs> Good. Because wild horses couldn't have kept me from the chance to tip a glass or two with the finest, the bravest men it's ever been my privilege to meet with. I want you to know I would be proud to lead any one of you straight into hell. <laughs> and after all, that is what we did, isn't it? Yes. And here we are to tell the tale. To you, gentlemen, and to you, Sergeant Garber, the best NCO I ever had. Here, here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
What got you so revved up? Is it true? Yes. I was approached some time ago about looking into uh, an unexplained disappearance. A guy named Hal Clark. I know all that. What makes you think it was murder? Did I say that? And what makes you think my mother and father were involved? I don't recall saying that either. You mind if, if I ask you who sicked you on me exactly? Is it Cece? I'm asking the questions. This is not some kind of conspiracy against you, Mason. Why wasn't I told? I didn't want to make a big deal about it. Yes, somebody disappeared. Yes, they might have been dead. But since that's all anybody knows, a rational person would be a long way from assuming that it had anything to do with Pamela or Cece. Then why do their names keep coming up? I don't know. Maybe it's something that our illustrious DA dreamed up. It's a well-known fact of history that T and Gina don't have enough to do with their time. I don't like the cruise. I don't like not being told, and I don't like you being part of it. You're a member of this family now. So? Act like it. You're making too much of this, brother. And frankly, you're ticking me off. Tough. I have a personal interest. Which is exactly why it's none of your business and why I want you to butt out of it now. There is nothing to draw a conclusion about. Draw this one, Cruz. The next time you move on something that has to do with my family, I want to know about it. What the hell are you so afraid of? What I might find? Tonight, how the Internal Revenue Service may get its hands on your money, even if you don't owe taxes. I'm Tom Brokaw. Join me on NBC Nightly News.